Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another week of what we eat for dinner. A little bit different this week. I have added in some bits that we had over Halloween. I know it was a couple of weeks ago now, but I haven't done one of these for a couple of weeks because I did a lunch video and a slow cooker video. So I've saved it because I know a few of you asked if I would include it. There's also another slow cooker recipe in this one and just some bits and bobs that I've filmed. So most of these are evening meals, but there are a couple of like lunches. I think there's a smoothie in there that Oscar wanted to make. So if you enjoy foodie content, then this is the video for you. So without further ado, let's go and have a look at some of the things we've been eating recently. So this next recipe is one of the easiest that I make and it is a beef and red lentil Thai red curry. So I'm doubling up my recipe as I usually do because there's five of us and I like to have leftovers. I don't often make recipes just for four people. So I'm using twice the ingredients I would if I was just making it for four. So I've got one jar of Thai red curry paste and I'm gonna use the entire jar. This is 200 grams. I've got a normal sized tin of coconut milk. I've got 800 grams of free range diced beef and 200 grams of red lentils. It really is that simple. I'm just gonna put the beef in the slow cooker. I'm not gonna brown it. I'm gonna add the whole jar of curry paste, the whole tin of coconut milk, my red lentils, bit of salt and pepper and then I'm just going to turn it on low for six hours and it comes out really thick and creamy so I'll show you it as it goes in. So first of all I'm just going to put my beef straight into the bottom of my slow cooker. I have my whole tin of coconut milk, my jar of red Thai curry paste, I'm going to have my red lentils We're just going to give it a good stir. It smells amazing already and it's so simple. And a little bit of salt and pepper. And that is it. We're just going to pop this on low for six hours and then I'm going to serve it with some rice. So here is our beef ready to serve. And granted, it's not the prettiest looking dish, but it tastes amazing. It's got loads of flavours of coconut, it's really creamy. And I've added some red chilli flakes on top, some extra salt and pepper. And I haven't served it with rice because it doesn't need it. With the lentils, it's like a meal in itself. So I've just put mine with some salad. So as we had leftovers from our beef, I've decided to turn it into soup the next day. I do this with a lot of dishes. I know I've made such a mess around the edge of the bowl. I do do this quite often. So with the beef that I had left over, I just added it to a pan and I put a tin of tomatoes, some carrots, some sweet corn, some water and some stock. And then I also added some chili powder, some smoked paprika, and I just boiled it all together. And then I put my beef and lentils in it as well. And then at the end of cooking, I added a small handful of orzo pasta, and then I popped a lid on and just turned it off. I let it sit for about 15 minutes. You've now got this really nice thick smoked beef and vegetable kind of soup. So any leftovers I have, if I don't want to use them for the same thing again, I will always turn them into like kind of a soup or a stew and it just helps to use up anything you might have left. And this is really, really good actually. I'd say I probably preferred this to the actual lentil curry. So for tonight's dinner, I have done some jackets and I just, like jacket potatoes, uh, I just start them off in the microwave for about 10 minutes and then I pop them in the air fryer for another 10 minutes on about 195 and they go really crispy and it's like doing them in the oven but it takes like half the time. I've done a chicken breast just plain on the grill and then some gherkins and peppers and that's what's for dinner tonight and this is Bailey's one. So for dinner tonight we have got salmon with some peri peri rice and some tender stem broccoli and yeah this is what we're having tonight so i've actually halved one of the pieces because they are absolutely massive this is the muscle food salmon that i rave about all the time but they're, they're just huge pieces they really are and they're so nice so yeah this is what is for dinner
so I thought I'd add in our Halloween little feast that we had. We had some family over, including my sister and my mum, and we just all got together and had a really nice evening. So we had some raspberries, some crisps, there were Oreos, Jaffa cakes, pizzas. I did my usual witch's fingers that I do every year, and I probably will until the boys move out basically hot dogs with cheese strings for fingernails we had mini spicy sausages we had pastry wrapped sausages that looked a little bit like mummies well i'm saying that they look like mummies i couldn't find any of the little stick on eyes anywhere which was what i really wanted we had lots of cakes and treats this lasted for days and days afterwards we were eating leftovers for a really long time we had lots of cheese and quiche and crackers and biscuits and things like that and it was just a really lovely evening. We played some games, we watched some scary, like kid friendly movies, and it was just really nice to all be together and enjoy ourselves. So tonight the boys have got leftovers from last night's Halloween buffet. So they've got some salad, some coleslaw, some pizza and some witch's fingers which I've heated up in the oven and I put the pizza in the oven as well. So we live off the leftovers and I think we'll be going to waste. So for dinner tonight we are using up some bits and pieces. We've got some chicken breast that I've done in the air fryer, a little bit of quiche. These are like thing sized pieces of quiche and we've also got some salad with a little bit of spicy cheese and that is what is for dinner tonight so for tonight's dinner i have made a chili con carne and as usual i've used different beans in it i've actually used some chickpeas instead of kidney beans and i've just made some rice which has turned out really well and i made it myself so i'm quite proud of myself today <laughs> although the boys actually prefer it when it's sticky um, this is just normal long grain rice but i am really rubbish and it's turned out good so that was a fluke so tonight is chilli and rice and then we've got some Greek yogurt on top. So I'm just starting tonight's dinner and I've got some of this reduced gula flour popcorn in Marks and Spencer's. It was 71p and it should have been in the 3 for £10 offer so I think originally it was like £4 each or something. Anyway they had loads left so I got one of these and it's battered crispy cauliflower with a smoky barbecue sauce and it's got like a spice on the cauliflower as well. Um, I think it looks really nice. I'm doing this with some gammon steaks and some oven chips. All right, so here's our dinner dished up. This is one of the boys. So we've got our gammon steak, we've got our gula flour popcorn chips and a barbecue dip. The popcorn's come out looking really nice actually. It looks really crispy and yeah, should be worth it for 71p. So this is what we've got for dinner tonight. Gammon chips and cauliflower. <laughs> and then we pour some sauce on it. Jelly brain. That looks cool. It covers brain juice. And you're gonna split it in half. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> That's awesome. That actually is pretty good, isn't it? Listen. So tonight's dinner is a pasta and I've just made up a sort of broccoli and bacon sauce. I had some bacon to use up. I did the chicken in the air fryer and some chicken seasoning and some onion granules and the chicken seasoning is everywhere. <laughs> And I made the sauce with some cream of chicken soup, some boisson cheese, uh, some mustard powder, some pepper. I'll just cook the pasta, pop the chicken on the top and some sauce and some broccoli. And I'm going to grate a little bit of cheddar on top if everybody wants some. So that's what we've got tonight. So with the leftovers of the chicken and the sauce, I've mixed the chicken in with the sauce. And then I've done some jacket potatoes, which I started in the microwave, put them in the air fryer. And I also did my leeks in the air fryer, so they took about 20 minutes. I just cut them into like thirds, sprayed them with some oil, 
and yeah we're gonna eat that and use up all the leftovers so as is always the case with kids these days oscar has seen something on the internet about making watermelon smoothies and he wanted to try it but it's so good i was really surprised it's literally watermelon chopped ice and a squeeze of lime juice and you just blitz it all together and it actually tastes really creamy and really thick and those are the only ingredients you need so i decided to try it for him and he really enjoyed it and it's healthy too So for dinner tonight we've got Scottish salmon fillets with salad and we've actually done them in the air fryer for a change so these have got some Cajun seasoning on and they've come out really really nice. We use a fish setting but this fish is like the size of a whale so we had to give it an extra five minutes but it looks really really good. Right over there, <laughs> salmon's plain but bone. Um, so yeah, we gave it another five minutes, but it looks really, really good, nice and crispy on top. The skin was very crispy, but I've taken that off. And um, we're just having it with some salad, with a little bit of light mayo, and some cayenne pepper. So that is it for this week. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure to leave me a like and hit subscribe. I would love to have you stick around, and I'll be back really, really soon with another video. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.